Hi, I'm going to talk about the drive test tool. And we understand the drive test tool is a important part to capture the information about the network and its performance on ground. Now, here in this particular software, where we are connecting with handset and we have a 4G enabled SIM inside it, we are capturing certain vectors on the map to understand normally during the drive test that how and which direction we are going and where all we are gathering the sample. Currently, I'm stationary. I have just disabled the GPS just to make you understand how actually the different statistics we can visualize and we can capture them. So I can simply gather certain live information from the networks. If, for example, I'm connected to this particular user is connected to one site or one cell, which is having certain frequency, certain cell ID, certain RSRP, which is the coverage, certain quality, which is RSRQ. And we can also simulate certain other information, maybe related to the CQI, or it could be anything else. So I can go to the device view. I can simply go to the LTE view and I can say want to look into the RSSI in that case. So it will start reflecting over here for both the ports. If it is two cross two, we can have RSSI measurement for port zero and port one. Also, we can visualize the different other statistics. Say, for example, we want to look into the layer three messages, which are an important part of analyzing the statistics and layer three messages, the RRC messages in the drive test, which can help us to understand what kind of settings we have in the network. Are they currently being transmitted by the base station or the cell ID to which we are connected to? What are the different settings we have? So all this information can be captured and we can see those different messages over here. We can also look into certain other information, be it related to the interference, be it related to how the coverage is going to get changed with time. So all this information, we can capture it from here. We can look into the PCI sets, how those different neighboring and the serving cells PCI are. Is there any kind of conflict? We can see it from the RSRQ if it is there or we can see it from the CQI if it is degrading. So all this information can be captured to, through the drive test. And what we do is normally we collect all the log files and then we process it. I'll talk about the post-processing tool in the next section where we'll simulate and we will generate the overall statistics and the insights about how the network performance is on ground by leveraging the drive test tool.